Hello, my Ecom learners. Today is another happy learning day with Teacher Claire. Welcome aboard again to Ecom Channel. In today's lesson, I will help you craft an effective title for your research paper. May it be qualitative or quantitative. Come on, let's learn together. Watch this. <music> It's worth emphasizing that in writing your title, you must eliminate unnecessary words and retain only the key ones, which would show us the following basic parts of a research title. First, we have research goal or result. It is the direction or the target of the study. It refers to what you want to really do what you seek to investigate, examine, describe, explain, or explore about. Some of the terms you may use to show the result in your title are the following. For quantitative research, we have to include these two variables in the title, which showcase a cost and effect relationship or an experimental approach. We have the independent variable. The independent variable usually tells us the topic, the focus and issue at hand. You would then have the view of the problem to investigate when you combine the goal and the independent variable. For example, effect of COVID-19. Effect is the research goal or the expected result. And then your topic is about COVID-19. So when we say effect of COVID-19, it is the combination of your research goal and then your independent variable. Now here are some more examples of independent variables. Let's talk about dependent variable. Dependent variable is affected by the independent variable, which is usually the respondents, like students, teachers, employees, youth, or others like academic performance, skills, learning. But you have to specify what particular aspect in the respondents does the independent variable have great impact. Example, academic performance is a little cliche. You could make it concrete by stating a learning skill needing to be improved or enhanced, like reading, writing, listening, comprehending. Another example of a dependent variable would be mental health or behavior or attitude. Another variable that we have to show in our research title is what we call concept or categorical variable. But this variable is used for qualitative research. Just like what I said in the previous video lesson prior to this one, Concept is used in qualitative research, which is known as categorical variable. It is a variable which is non-numerical or not quantifiable and cannot be counted or measured, but instead is categorized through description, themes, categories, and codes. Examples are satisfaction, perception, belief which we cannot actually measure numerically. We usually describe the variables into categories like 
let's say, satisfaction into very satisfied, satisfied, or dissatisfied, perception into positive and negative. We have the categorical variable like eye colors, which include black, blue, green, brown, or hazel, gender to male and female, religion to Roman Catholic, Iglesia ni Cristo, born-again Christian, and more. For a qualitative study, the title should contain the concept that you want to explore, investigate, or explain. Unlike in the quantitative that we measure variables, here in qualitative, we focus on deeply understanding the conceptual variable. Example would be the levels of satisfaction, the kinds of perception, the degrees of performance. We also have practices, promotion, prevention, importance, developing. Those are examples of categorical variables, locale or setting. This part of the research paper specifies the place where you are going to conduct the research. Would it be in school, in the barangay, or in the community? And those are the significant parts of a research title, depending on the type you are going to conduct, which could either be quantitative or qualitative. For quantitative, the most common parts visible in the title would be the result or the research goal the independent variable, the dependent variable, and the locale. For qualitative research title, we would usually see the result or goal, the categorical variable, the locale, and the respondents. Here are some examples of quantitative titles. Effects of online quiz applications to Abby's grade 11 students' formative and summative test. The word effects gives us the idea about what is the target result of the researcher. Online quiz applications is the independent variable. This is the variable that would impact change to the dependent variable, which is grade 11 formative and summative scores. The locale is in school, which is Andres Bonifacio Integrated School. Looking at the title, we could say that the respondents in the study would be the grade 11 students. The next one, correlation between parental involvement and learner's academic success. The expected result is shown by the word relationship, while the independent variable which would impact change to the dependent variable would be parents' school involvement. And our dependent variable is the learner's academic success. Meaning to say, the academic success of the learners, according to the study from the title, would be dependent on the parent's school involvement. Our locale, obviously, is the school, and our respondents would be the parents and students. Now look at these examples of qualitative titles. We have assessment of Abby's senior high school students' level of satisfaction to the new modes of learning. The target result or goal is shown by the word assessment. And the categorical variable is the level of satisfaction of the students and the new modes of learning because they both can be described or categorized. When we say modes of learning, what are the category of modes of learning? We have the face-to-face, -face, the virtual, the blended, and the modular. How about satisfaction? How do we categorize satisfaction? Very satisfied, satisfied, and dissatisfied. So these are the categorical variables that you can see from the title. Obviously, the respondents would be the senior high school students, and the locale is in Abbey's. Next, we have best practices of Abbey's in the implementation of blended learning in the new face-to-face. -face. The expected result at the same time is also categorical variable 
would be the best practices. The locale is Abby's. The respondents are the senior high school students. You will look through the lens of the students, meaning you will ask their perceptions on the effectiveness of blended learning in the new face-to-face. -face. And here are some more examples of quantitative and qualitative research titles which you may modify to suit your needs. That's all for today. I hope that you have essential takeaways from this lecture. I'll be with you again in my next video lesson. God bless everyone and let's all always wear a happy heart.